Hey everybody, and welcome back to episode four on the Forerunner Rebuild series that I am doing. So in this episode, we're gonna tackle this quarter panel. We're gonna go ahead and try to remove it. I'm getting my part in tonight probably, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like and what I have to work with. But until that gets here, let's go ahead and start tackling this and getting this one off. So to do this is basically the same thing we did on the right side, it's just on a bigger scale. It shouldn't be too difficult of a job, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First, I'm gonna go grab that wire wheel for the grinder, take it along the edges, remove any undercoating or body sealer or anything that could be hiding the spot wells that I do need to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that prepped up with the wire wheel. So I put some tape so we can see how far up we're gonna go. We're not gonna go any further than that until we get the other piece. Let's do this. side all done it's not the prettiest but this is this metal that's not pretty as long as we keep this metal good we're good to go so I'm gonna have to do it all the way up here I'm gonna do this later I went ahead and marked them all for me and for you guys to see also it's very hard for me to see on this black car as well so it's gonna help me see where to grind and then also right here as well I give you guys a good idea where they're at exactly all right let's tackle the window All right, quick interruption, my quarter panel is here. Let me go ahead and grab that and I'll be right back. I really do apologize for the lighting. It's super dark, I'm trying my best to give you guys some light. Here's what it looks like. They cut it right about there. And then for the top, this is where they cut it. So the thing is, they cut it a little bit shorter than I thought they would at the window. So where I had my tape originally, that's not where I'm gonna do my cuts anymore. So I'm gonna do them a little bit lower. So let's go back in the garage. Let me show you what I'm gonna be doing here. So you guys can see these white lines, they're just paint markers. I was just doing some lines just to give myself an idea of where I wanna cut it. So since the piece is a little shorter by the windows, I'm not gonna cut it all the way up there. I was expecting the piece to be a full piece all the way up to the window, but that's not the case. It's cut about like halfway or so. So I decided to put the line here and this is where we're gonna cut this side. Now for this side, I was looking at it and I was thinking none of this is even damaged right here. So there's no need to even replace this section. So we're gonna cut it a lot lower down here, right where the damage begins. We're just gonna make the cut right here. We're gonna make the cut right there. Not as high as I originally wanted it, but that's fine, I actually like this idea better. So let me go ahead and move the tape down where I actually wanna have it, and then we'll continue. So those are the new lines that we're gonna cut it at. All right, let's get these sanded down the rest of the way. So I went ahead and put a piece of tape right there where we're gonna end up cutting it. The piece that I have goes to about right here, I would say. So again, we're gonna cut it a little short and that's what I'm trying to do with all the other cuts as well. But right now we're gonna work on these spot welds right here. So let's get to it. The three cuts that I'm gonna make are gonna be the last things that I do after all the spot welds are done. So I guess let's get to work, shall we? Cue the music.
right, that does it. All right, so that's good for that section. Window's done, that right rear section is done. Now let's go ahead and move on to this part. And then last but not least, we'll do the underside over here. Make the cuts, and then we'll take this piece off. Now quickly, I'm gonna show you how to remove this little piece. Should be able to just push it right through. So once you get this piece out like so, there's gonna be these little clips on the side. You wanna push those in and take this piece, this black piece off of this piece. So as you push those in, try to pull this black piece away like so actually we don't even have to do any of the spot welds in here because this is actually part of the quarter panel the whole inside of this none of this is attached to the body so i don't even know why i was thinking about needing to do that all right so now that we got that finished we have to do the same for down here and over here then all that's left is to make those cuts and then slowly pry this quarter panel off because there's some glue holding it on doesn't really matter i mean we could freaking rip it off for all i care but it's coming off one way or another so let's go ahead and get this bottom section done all right we're gonna go ahead and tackle this section right here and then we'll move on to the rest Actually get this rear section finished as well and then we'll do the fender bolt. piece is loose as you guys can see so that's all that's left right here so I went ahead and marked a couple of these spot welds that I saw so let's go ahead and start taking care of those Got to work on the rest of this and this panel is ready to go after we make those cuts so i can't really see the spot welds too well right here so what i'm going to do is just hammer it with the blade and every time i can sense that i hit the spot weld i'm going to go ahead and grind it out and then keep going until i get this whole section done
So now I just gotta get this little section and that should be it, then we can make our cuts. Now that I'm looking at it, this part's completely broken off. Not even sure why I'm trying to drill that out. Let's see if this section's free. So that should be the final cut. There's typically some glue around here. So we'll just go ahead and pry that off. So I almost forgot, there's actually a couple more spot welds just around here. You need to remove those. That wasn't so hard to remove, now was it? Just tedious. All right, guys, so here's a closer look at the Forerunner without the quarter panel on it. Now, really quickly, before I finish off this video, all these little tiny things, I'm gonna go ahead and grind down, make them flat and smooth all around and then that's going to be it for this video so i'll peace out with you guys in just a moment all right you guys i'm exhausted so i'm going to call it a day this is going to be it for this video got the quarter panel removed i'm not sure what the next video is going to be it might be prepping the other quarter panel that i just got because i do have to remove that off of that piece and get it ready for this piece and that's a whole another day's worth of work. So I'm gonna probably do that next episode, we'll see. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys liked it. Share the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys do wanna support the channel and help it grow. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,